hello everyone in this microsoft fabric video i'm going to show you how to grant permission to a user within your tenant to have access to a table within your data warehouse in order to perform data query language like using the select so let's get started now i created two accounts the super account which belongs to myself this is abiola at excel jet consult triple one dot on microsoft.com and then in the google chrome i have another account enoch within the same tenant now when i check the for instance the power BI experience and i come to the workspaces you can see this person do not have any workspace therefore the person is unable to access any data now i'm going to come back to the edge and what i've done here is to create a workspace called HR database and within the workspace we have our data warehouse the data sets and the warehouse when, when I click on this employee details I can see the table and of course we can begin to write query against the data set now we want to give access to Enoch to be able to work with the table and write select statement to do that we're going to come back to the workspace level and then you're going to see this manage access and then you're going to see manage access and of course you can see the name of the workspace now you can click on this add people or group and then in the enter name or email i'm going to search for the person you can use their email or their name so i'm going to grab the person's details and then i can specify whether they could be viewer contributor member or admin so by default viewer is fine click on add and of course you can see it is successfully added now let's switch back to the google chrome and then refresh the page now we should be able to see the hr underscore database workspace and of course they're going to have access to the table so let's come to workspaces and there you go we have the hr database so they are able to access the workspace so let's click on that and then we can see the employee details so click on that and that's going to open the sql endpoint where we can write the query so we can see the table click on new sql query now this is fine just click on ok and then we can easily perform select star from and then grab the table and then click on execute and that's it we can even use the where clause let's say where salary is greater than or equal to sixty-five thousand. click on run and that works pretty fine so that's basically how we can grant permission to a user to have access to a table in our data warehouse let's want to get rid of the access you have to come back to the super account and then you're going to come to this manage access again and of course you can see enoch right here just click on that and click on remove and that takes the permission or the privileges and then let's go back to chrome click on refresh and go ahead with this reload when i click on workspaces we can see the hr underscore database workspace is gone because we have revoked the permission so this is basically how we can grant and revoke permissions to users within workspace level thank you and bye for now cheers